The single biggest thing is catching things early. You know, it's a lot easier, you know, a lot of times we can do more mentally invasive procedures um, and, and can get things taken care of a lot easier the earlier you get seen. Uh, when people wait, that's when it becomes a problem. Um, and one of the things I, I hate to see, and yet you always see is people know they have a problem, but they're too scared to come in. Um, there's never a, a, you know, a time to delay. Um, and it's never too late to come in to get seen, but the further you wait, the, the different situation that puts you in. So if you can come early, uh, if any question at all, any concern, uh, just the peace of mind that you'll get, uh, that's worth its weight in gold anyway. Colonoscopies uh, are very important. It's one of the reasons why we can catch cancers early enough to effectively cure patients. It's such a life-saving procedure that, that if you catch things early enough, um, you, you can get, get things in a much better situation. And it requires uh, drinking the day before some fluid that makes you go to the bathroom, cleans you out. Um, in fact, the procedure itself is the easy part. You go to sleep, you won't remember anything, uh, but the, the day before is probably a little more uncomfortable having to go to the bathroom a lot. But uh, once you do that, we'll be able to do the colonoscopy. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. The really important thing is it used to be recommended age 50 for everybody. And if you had family history of cancer, that, that you know, predisposes you to the earlier time frames. But if in the past couple of years, they've changed to age 45 for everybody. So I don't think that, it's definitely not widespread knowledge right now. And I think, um, you know, it's something we're trying to, to make sure that, that primary care physicians and, and patients are aware that age 45 is now the recommended colonoscopy age for everybody.